what is onto and why is it important for us? Let us start with the second question first. Onto will tell us, together with one to one, which we will discuss in another video, whether we can invert a certain function. And if you see a function as a relation between sets, its domain and codomain, it is not difficult at all to see whether a function is onto or not, as you will learn in this video. So, what is onto? A function f from d domain to c codomain is onto if for every y in the codomain there exists at least one x in the domain such that fx equals y. So what does that mean? You have your codomain, that's all kind of function values y, and you can reach every single one of them with at least one x in the domain. Every y can be reached by at least one or maybe more x's. That's for on two not so important, but you can reach all of them. Let's look at some examples. We take a very small domain and a very small codomain. For on two, you always look from the domain back, from the codomain back to the domain. So you look at all values in the codomain. So we start with the value of 5 here, and we see can this value of 5 be reached? Well, yes, it can by 1. So that is fine with respect to the on two part. We continue. With the seven, second value from the codomain, can that one be reached? Yeah, so you can buy multiple values by two and by three. So you can reach it by at least one value, even by two. So that's fine for the onto part. But then we turn to our last value, the poor eight, cannot be reached by any number in the domain. And that means that our function is not onto because you cannot reach all numbers from the codomain. The eight spoils the fun here. Second example, where we just leave out the 8. So a new function going from a domain with three numbers to a codomain of two numbers. Now in the second example, both the 5 and the 7 can be reached by access from the domain. So that means the second function is in fact onto. And that also learns us an important lesson. How can you see whether a function is onto or not? First of all, so check whether fx is y has at least one solution for every x in the domain. That's the first lesson. Second part, you can always make a function onto if you restrict the codomain. Well, if you far enough such that all values can be reached. So now you know how to check whether a function is onto. And if it's not, you know how you are able to make your function onto.